Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an external drive with your Chromecast with Google TV. So we need a flash drive. Go ahead and enter the flash drive into your laptop or your desktop. And once it shows up like mine did here, go ahead and right click and then hit format. And the format has to be a FAT32. So under file systems, make sure that you select FAT32 as the format type. So we're going to go down and select start and a warning message will appear letting you know that everything will be deleted or erased from the drive. The format is pretty quick. It only should take a couple of seconds. And as you can see, the format is complete. So we're going to move on to the next step. If you have a flash drive that's bigger than 32 gigabytes, you're going to have to download a third party application called Rufus. Rufus is 100% free. It's a free utility tool. And the reason that we will need to download Rufus is because Windows will not format flash drives bigger than 32 gigabytes. So if you have a flash drive that's bigger than 32 gigabytes, you're going to download Rufus and then you're going to follow the same steps as if you was formatting a 32 gigabyte flash drive in Windows. And keep in mind, the format must be a FAT32 to work on Chromecast with Google TV and Fire Stick for that matter. First thing you're going to need is your Chromecast with Google TV. And then you're going to need a USB-C type hub. This is a USB-C type hub. As you can see, it has 3.0 USB outlets on one side. And on the other side, it has a couple of different types of storages as well as a USB-C power output. So if you have those two things, your Google with Chromecast only comes with eight gigabytes. With this device right here, you can add multiple flash drives. And as soon as you connect your Google Chromecast with this type of device, it will automatically recognize the extra external storage. So basically you're adding a ton of space to your Google with Chromecast now. So if I take this small 64 gigabyte flash drive and I enter it into the USB hub like that. And then I take the USB hub. It comes with a C type adapter here plug it in the back of the Chromecast with Google TV just like that so now I have my USB-C hub an external flash drive or a zip drive and a USB-C hub itself going into the Chromecast let me get a better picture for you guys that's how it should look. Then I'm going to take my power supply that came with the Chromecast with Google TV. And I'm going to plug that into the USB-C hub. Just like that. And then I'm going to plug the other end of the power supply into a wall outlet. So this is how it should look. You have the USB-C hub, you have your Chromecast, then you have your power supply. So if you do those things to your Chromecast with Google TV, you can make a regular ordinary Chromecast with Google TV, an Android box or similar to a small PC, where you can download movies, you can record TV shows, you can play retro games on this thing. And speaking of retro games, I'm going to be doing a video on how you can play retro games on your Chromecast with Google TV as well. So recap here, flash drive, USB-C type hub, Chromecast power adapter, Chromecast itself, USB-C type hub going into the Chromecast, power outlet going into the wall. 
Okay, the Chromecast with Google TV is loaded up. We're going to go all the way over to the right and we're going to click on the settings menu. Now that we're in the settings menu, the next step is we want to go all the way down until we see systems. So go ahead and move all the way down until you see the systems. Go ahead and click on systems. And then we want to click on about. Once we click on about, we want to go all the way down until we see Android TV OS build. Now we want to click that box seven times until we see enable developer options. If it's your first time, it will say you are now a developer. And that gives us the opportunity to load third party applications as well as add external storage. So now what we want to do, we want to hit the back button and then we want to go down and you will now see a developer's option menu. So we're going to go ahead and click on that developer options menu and then we're going to scroll down. Now that we're in developer options, the first thing we need to do is adjust the animation settings. Okay, the first setting is called Windows Animation Scale. So scroll down until you see Windows Animation Scale. And then we want to set that to 0.5. Now the next animation setting is called Transition Animation Scale. We want to select that and move that one to 0.5 as well. And then we have one more called Animator Duration Scale. We're going to select that and move it to 0.5 as well. Okay, after we made those changes to the animation, we're going to move down a little bit further until we see force allow apps on external. This will give us the option to download apps or move apps to our external flash drive. So once you see that option, we're going to toggle the button over until it turns blue and that just enables this option. And guys, keep in mind, if you remember from some of the Fire Stick videos, on developer options, it allow us to download apps from unknown sources. So the same rule of thumb applies with the Chromecast with Google TV. So we need to make sure that these options are taken care of in the developer options section. So go ahead and hit the back button and we're going to go up to storage. Once storage is highlighted, we're going to move one space over to the right and then you will see our internal storage as well as our SanDisk 32 gigabyte USB drive. So if you click on storage and you don't see your external USB drive, just go back to the home screen, then go back to the settings and maneuver back over to storage and it should appear. Now that we can see our external hard drive, we're going to move one spot over to the right. And the next thing that we need to do, we need to reformat this hard drive again just to be on the safe side. So move down one and you see the prompt that says erase and format. And we're going to go ahead and select format and let the format process start. Now the format process should only take a few minutes, but it all depends on the size of your external flash drive. Since I only have a 32 gigabyte external flash drive, the formatting process shouldn't take long, but just imagine if you had a 256 gigabyte flash drive. The process probably will take more than a few minutes. And once the format has completed on your drive, you should see a prompt at the bottom of the page saying your USB drive is formatted, as well as a page that says you can move your data to your USB drive. My USB drive happens to be a sand disk. And over to the right, you have the option to move now or move later. I'm going to select move later. So go ahead and hit the back button. Hit the back button again. Hit the back button one more time. Now we want to move up and select apps. Move one spot over to the right. And then we want to go all the way down until we see see all apps. From here, I can start transferring apps to our external drive now. So I'll select the app and I'll show you how to transfer it to your external drive. So I'm going to select my first app, which is going to be the M64 emulator. So I'm going to go ahead and select the M64 emulator. Then I'm going to move one spot over to the right. OK, from here, I'm going to go down to where it says storage used and click on that. And then I'm going to select my scan disk USB drive. And as you can see, it's moving the M64 emulator to my external flash drive. So that is the process. I'm going to show you how to do one more application and then we're going to wrap the video up. 
So remember, this is a great way to save space on your internal drive. This will cut down on some of the load on our internal drive and also it will keep the internal drive working properly. So let's go ahead and pick one more application. So I'm back into my all app section and I'm going to pick this PPSSPP. So after I pick storage use, I'll go ahead and select my USB external drive. The moving process has completed. So guys, let me know what you think about this video. This is how you use your external drive on your Chromecast with Google TV. Don't forget to leave comments, subscribe, share and like if you haven't already. Until the next time. I'm out of here. Peace.